Day four of the Alaska trial presented testimony about the moments when the actual stabbings occurred. The most emotional testimony came from Samantha Doty, a friend of Wilde who witnessed him being stabbed. Tearing up on the stand, she claimed to have seen Wilde walk toward Alaska with an outstretched arm. When Alaska then turned and, quote, pounced aggressively with a lot of force toward Wilde, shaking him two or three times before seeing him fall to the ground. Paul Yuckis, another friend of Sean's, confirmed her testimony. Rafael Castaneda, a bouncer at the bar, heard what sounded like an explosion of glass. That's when he approached Wilde in Alaska, attempting to separate the two. As he did, he heard knife, and when he looked down, saw the weapon next to him on the floor. As Castaneda reached for it, so did Alaska, but he was able to grab it and throw it into a closed area. Once he was able to restrain Alaska, he noticed his left forearm was bleeding. The jury also heard from Dr. David Piazza, who treated both Hayes and Wilde at Edward Hospital. Wilde's injury was severe, resulting from a stab wound directly through his heart, an injury that proves fatal over 90% of the time. He pronounced Wilde dead at 1.46 a.m. Sean's father briefly took the stand, describing his son's, quote, perfect health in his final days, and recounting the difficult moments when police came to his home that night, telling him what had happened. The defense argued self-defense, bringing up inconsistencies in Doty's testimony, claiming her police reports didn't match up. Daniel Alaska is being charged with seven counts of first-degree murder, including the death of local teacher Sean Wilde. Naperville News 17 has been following the case since 2012 and will continue to update you nightly during the trial.